Hello, and welcome to another session on using the new Blender for video editing. Today, we're going to talk about how you can create your own custom screen layouts, or workspaces, as they're called now, um, so that you can have everything set up on your screen just the way you like, and in addition, how you can save that as a default uh, so that going forward in all of your future projects, you will have that same workspace and you don't have to keep recreating it every single time. So let's get started. Uh, so from the splash screen, we can click on video editing. And now, of course, we're presented with the, the default workspace, the default screen layout. And the first thing to do is to make a copy of this. So up here, you right click on video editing and you say duplicate. And then you can give it a name. So I'm going to just double click here and just change that to VSE. Okay. And now here's one important thing. The one on the left, that is the workspace that will be uh, the thing that shows up when you first create any uh, future projects. So with the default video editing there, that's going to be, uh, so that'll be the layout that will always be used. If you wanted your custom layout to always be the first one to show up, what you can do is right click on that and say reorder to front and then there it is on the left side. So that'll be your default screen layout or your default workspace from now on. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make some changes. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it the way I like it. So I'll put the graph editor here. I'll right click and do a join areas over there and just bring this up so I can see the timeline editor. Uh, now, if you wanted to see all that stuff in more detail, I do explain it very uh, thoroughly in my Blender 2.79 video, which I'll, I'll link. Uh, but that's pretty much the customizations that I want to do. So if I were to save this project file now, then I would have this uh, customized workspace for this project, but I want to be able to uh, keep it going forward. So any new project will have this uh, workspace. To do that, you go to File, and then down to Defaults, and Save Startup File, and then you have to confirm that. I'll click again, and that's done. Uh, so now, every time I open up Blender, uh, I will have this new VSE uh, workspace, and I'll show you. So I'll close this now and I will not save it because I didn't actually do anything and start up Blender again. And then from the splash screen, once it loads up, click video editing and there you go. My VSE workspace is now the first thing to show up. I can proceed to load in video files and work without having to redo the workspace every single time. Uh, so that's it. Hope you liked that. If you did, please do give it a like, subscribe so you can see more content, and we'll see you next time. Bye.